is it fast? And yes, it's fast. Corvette is known for increasing its performance with each generation of the Corvette. Now we see, we saw a drastic change when it adopted the mid-engine configuration. Basically, they took the engine from the front, threw it in the back. And for 2024, it's gonna receive another drastic change in the form of power, introducing the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. For the first time in the history of Corvettes, the Corvette will be electrified, all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive in EV only mode, asterisk. Some massive news with the hybrid powertrain, the E-Ray becomes the quickest production Corvette to date. How fast? Because that's, once again, that's all we care about. Is it fast? It's capable of a 2.5 second, zero to 60 mile per hour, and it completes a quarter mile in 10.5 seconds. This makes this Corvette one of the world's fastest hybrids. All right, let's break it down. <laughs> it sounds like we're about to start dancing. Why is it a hybrid and not a full-blown electric vehicle? Now, the EV part of the E-Ray comes from the holy matrimony of the 1.9 kilowatt battery and electric motor with a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated LT2 V8. So yeah, you heard that right. E-Ray still has a potent V8 and that gives you 495 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. And the electric motors add an additional 160 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque. Now, when you combine these two, you get math is what you get we got 655 horsepower and 595 pound feet of torque all right now i did mention all-wheel drive and front wheel drive the e-ray uses power from the gas engine to power the back wheels and the power from the electric motor to the front wheels now the e-ray has a stealth mode so like a thief in the night you can creep out of your neighborhood at 5 a.m and not wake up your karens and your jarens uh, when you go to cars and coffee now when it's stealth mode it actually becomes only front wheel drive and it can only run up to 45 miles per hour. So once you hit 46, you're gonna hear some stuff because that V8 is gonna turn on and uh, yeah, now you're in all wheel drive mode. But the all wheel drive is what makes the E-Ray capable of such fast zero to 60 times because of the added traction. You got the front wheels pulling the car, you got the back wheels pushing the car. And once you hit 88, back to the future. All right, let's talk about the styling. The E-Ray does have the wider body and wheel and tire sizes from the high performance Z06 model. Uh, to differentiate it, you got the blue E-Ray badges and different five-spoke wheels and available body color trim. I did read on Jalopnik that there is a regen system that allows you to put energy back into the battery, but the electric motor is not connected to the V8 in any way. So the engine never actually charges the battery. The entire hybrid system did add 231 pounds, making this Corvette on the heftier side. She thick boy, but you know what they say, she ain't the lady if she ain't 280. All right, the E-Ray targets. <laughs> the E-Ray targets 80% state of charge, but if you use the charge plus buttons, it prioritizes energy regen up to 100%. Now, this is extremely beneficial for you, you track guys, hot lapping the E-Ray at the track. An important note is that the car will never randomly become rear-wheel drive. So, if you're racing and you're getting it and you're in the apex of that turn and you're number one, you don't have to worry about it just becoming rear-wheel drive when you're flooring it and you're going to spin out. It will stay all-wheel drive. At the time of us recording this video, uh, there's no fuel economy stats because the car has not been rated by the EPA yet. It does have active fuel management, which deactivates four cylinders, but the hybrid system allows the E-Ray to stay in four-cylinder mode for longer periods than just conventional four-cylinder shutdown mode. All right, guys, there's no question the Corvette E-Ray completely broke the mold of what I thought a Corvette could be, adding electric motors to an already powerful platform which is just crazy to me in a good way. Could this be the future of modifying cars? Like I can almost see a future where we use electric motors over conventional power adders like superchargers, twin turbos, regular turbos, but those are just my thoughts. So do me a favor and let me know your thoughts on the future of power adders or the Corvette E-Ray in general. And as always, thanks for watching these videos and let us know what you want us to talk about next. And if you like these videos, don't be shy, hit that like button. Throw us a subscribe. We really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, peace out.